This is Twit. There's a breaking story, which uh, somebody, I think it was Ant, mentioned that just came in. Uh, the um, the Tao uh, Knight, no, not the Tao Knight, you're the Tao Knight, the Knight First Tau Amendment Tau. Institute at Columbia yes. University um, sued, this is the weirdest thing I've ever heard of, sued President Trump on behalf of eight people who he had blocked on Twitter. The premise, which... <laughs> the, uh, well, the premise is that the president of the United States shouldn't be able to block people. And the judge has just ruled that's correct. Judge Naomi Rice Buchwald of the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York said President Trump's Twitter account is a public forum and blocking people who reply to his tweets with differing opinions constitutes viewpoint discrimination. That's a violation of the First Amendment. That is just bizarre that we've come to this point in the world where this is a heavy-duty issue. What's interesting is, and she wrote a 75-page opinion on this, he could, <laughs> he could have ignored the reply tweets. She says that's right. not unconstitutional. But you can't, you can, in other words, you can mute them, but you can't block them. She said muting preserves the muted account's ability to reply to a tweet sent by the muting account. Blocking says you can't reply. Not only and that that is a distinction. The block user can neither see nor reply to block users' tweets entirely. Muting means you can see Trump's tweets and respond to them. It's just that he won't see them. And she says that's not unconstitutional. Um, she did not order Trump or the assistant to the president, Daniel Scavino, uh, to unblock the individual plaintiffs or prohibit them from blocking others. She said a declaratory judgment should be sufficient. I, so, you, so there's a right to speak, there's a right to hear, and there's a right to be heard. Isn't yes, that interesting? But, but you know what? One of the one of the folks in the chat room says he asked for this, and I think that's the crux of it right there. He's chosen to use this as a presidential platform, and that changes the game in terms of First Amendment, yeah. I think. Yeah. That's what differentiates it from us doing it versus... Exactly. The POTUS. But he can uh, he can block people from press conferences and has. That is that unconstitutional? <clears throat> well, that that's a case where um, uh, again I split this up. There's a, there's a new book out by a professor named Anony at USC talking about the right to hear, to not have things you need to know as a citizen blocked out by noise. Then there's the right to be heard. I don't think anybody would say that you have a right to be heard. Right. Um, and you so, have a right to no, speak, but not be heard. Right. Right. <laughs> and the internet is all built for speaking. Right. <coughs> not listening. Wow. Wow. 